Mandy, a mother residing in a relatively secluded area with her two sons, began to notice peculiar and inexplicable sounds and voices permeating her yard. Determined to uncover the source of these disturbances, she strategically positioned a series of trail cameras throughout her property to monitor any unusual activity. One fateful night, shortly before midnight, her vigilance paid off as the camera system detected movement, triggering an alert that swiftly reached Mandy's attention. What unfolded in the footage is really bone-chilling. Despite the absence of visible entities on the camera feed, Mandy's apprehension heightened as she listened to the eerie sounds and unsettling whistling captured by the equipment. Several nights later, while out with her children, Mandy received yet another alert. The tension escalated as scratching and knocking sounds permeated the audio feed, accompanied by the chilling demand of a voice imploring to be granted entry. Mandy's unease deepened as the disturbances seemed to infiltrate the sanctity of her son's bedroom. Following her departure from her son's room, a bone-chilling voice ominously declares, I see you, and you're mine now, hinting at a sinister presence with ominous intentions towards her son. Later that very night, an unsettling event unfolds as something horrifying is captured on camera from within the confines of her son's bedroom. The tension mounts as the camera captures the window lifting slightly, 
Despite the presence of a child lock, rendering any attempts to pry it open seemingly futile, a ghastly pale face peers ominously into the room where Mandy's son lies asleep, a sight made all the more unsettling by the room's elevation on the second floor. Compounding the mystery, the camera, which has been steadfastly monitoring the room's interior, was strategically zoomed in on the window, leaving little room for doubt regarding the authenticity of the footage. Now gripped by concern for her son's safety, Mandy finds herself wrestling with a daunting uncertainty about the nature of the threat looming over her family. Several nights later, the outdoor cameras capture a chilling sight. An indistinct figure perched atop the house, initially manifesting as a shadow before gradually morphing into a discernible human form. Alarmed by this disturbing development, Mandy wastes no time in contacting the authorities. Despite Mandy's urgent call for assistance, the police's cursory search of the interior, lasting a mere nine minutes, left her feeling frustrated and disillusioned with their lack of thoroughness. Disheartened by their perceived indifference, she resolved not to rely on them for further assistance, apprehensive about the potential consequences of their negligence. As the enigmatic threat targeting her son persists, Mandy finds herself grappling with the unsettling uncertainty surrounding the identity and motives of this elusive entity. Until more information comes to light, the true nature of the danger lurking in the shadows remains shrouded in mystery. Chris, from the Urbex Hill YouTube channel, embarks on a journey to explore enigmatic tunnels that prove to be more perilous than anticipated. In the video's description, Chris cryptically states, Today I explored a mysterious tunnel and saw something strange. He recounts undertaking one of his most treacherous explorations yet, spending an entire day navigating over ten miles of labyrinthine tunnels concealed within a dense forest. Upon entering the portal, an unsettling silence envelops him, accompanied by an inexplicable sensation of being under scrutiny. As he delves deeper into the tunnels, ominous signs suggest he may not be alone, culminating in a chilling encounter that ranks among his most harrowing experiences. As the tension mounts, Chris reaches a pivotal moment around the 18-minute mark, where a sudden pause and a glance to his right foreshadow an imminent, heart-pounding revelation. In the video, two astonishingly swift creatures darting from around a corner before swiftly retreating into the shadows. Despite the apparent terror of the encounter, Chris appears remarkably unfazed by the sighting. However, the tension continues to mount as the exploration progresses. Approximately 20 minutes later, as Chris traverses a forebodingly dark corridor resonating with the ominous rush of water beneath his feet, 
a new sound suddenly interrupts the eerie silence. Several tense minutes later, Chris emerges from the tunnels unscathed, a palpable sense of relief evident in his demeanor. Nonetheless, the lingering unease underscores the chilling reality that something ominous and formidable lurked within the depths of the tunnels. Whatever malevolent presence awaited him remains shrouded in mystery. Paranormal investigators from the YouTube channel The Paranormies embark on yet another spine-tingling adventure in their quest to explore purportedly haunted locations. In this video, the team ventures into a dilapidated house steeped in chilling tales of ghostly encounters. As they navigate the interior, the decrepit state of the house becomes glaringly apparent accompanied by an eerie silence that would deter most from venturing further. However, undeterred by the ominous atmosphere, the paranormies press on with their investigation. Around the six-minute mark, a member of the team makes a disquieting discovery in an adjacent room, signaling a pivotal moment in their exploration of the haunted dwelling. What's that? It's a fucking dead bird. You never said anything about like birds and stuff being in here. That's gross. Pick it up. It's in toilet paper. Well, can we like sweep it up or something? That's disgusting. How would that get in? I don't know. Is that the window? Unless it gets into the basement? Maybe. Later in their investigation, the group ascends the stairs to delve deeper into the mysteries shrouding the upper floors of the house. It's during this phase of their exploration that they are jolted to a standstill by a sound so startling and inexplicable that it leaves them paralyzed with shock and awe. What was that? You heard something? Who's that? You heard something? You heard something? About 15 minutes later, the Paranormies decide to set up a laser grid device in order to detect any unusual movements in the room. They also activate an EVP device, which is designed to capture any potential ghostly voices or sounds. The results they obtain from these devices are deeply unsettling, indicating the presence of something malevolent within the room. Even when I said, okay, it's an RAC, am I okay? Like, thank you. Like, I don't need you to. Continue on. What? Oh, oh, shut up. What? What did you see? I heard the wrong. A shadow. Really? Rachel, are you Right here? from here, from here, this way? Like, over this way or that way? Oh God, that was me. I had no idea what Johnny saw. He was standing in the kitchen, I was standing on the landing, and we were just talking about our Ouija board results, and he just took off like a bat out of hell at something in the living room. Yeah. And even halfway through Rachel, but it would stop yeah. like between the letters. Even when I said, okay, it's an RAC, am I okay? Like, 
Thank you. Like, I don't need you to. Continue on. What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> At this juncture, the tension for the group noticeably heightens. Despite the escalating unease, they remain determined to continue their investigation, descending into the basement, an area that proves to be equally, if not more, unsettling than the upper floor. It doesn't take long for them to encounter strange noises once more, along with peculiar activity detected by the REM pod devices they had positioned in the vicinity. Take a moment to observe the unsettling events captured during their exploration. You heard that? Periodical. What does that mean? Periodical? You heard that? Was there, that? there something from the room? You heard that? Footsteps upstairs? I heard it. Rem pod? And then another one? Around a minute later, one of the men named Johnny starts to discern mysterious tapping noises emanating from the kitchen as he engages with a Ouija board. Curiosity piqued, he decides to investigate the source of the eerie sounds, leading to an encounter that sends chills down his spine. Fortunately, following this unsettling incident, the Paranormies exercise prudence and opt to conclude their investigation for the day, a decision that proves to be the most sensible course of action, reflecting on the potential hazards that may have lurked within the shadows. It becomes evident that departing when they did likely averted unforeseen dangers that could have materialized had they lingered even a few moments longer. Moxley, from the Moxley's Paranormal World YouTube channel, embarked on an exploration of an abandoned residence renowned as the Three Sisters Murder House. As per local law, a tragic incident occurred wherein a young boy succumbed to insanity and tragically ended the lives of his three sisters while they slumbered in the dead of night. Subsequently, the property has been shrouded in reports detailing profound paranormal phenomena. Undeterred, Moxley ventured into the premises at the early hours. This location exudes an atmosphere of palpable tension, instigating a sense of unease from the very moment one sets foot inside. This is one of those places that has you on edge from the moment you step foot inside. I 
feel on that jaw, brother. I can't catch my breath. Right, let's take a little walk around. Hello? Somebody just speak then. Hello? I just sworn I heard a voice. A bin truck going past. What was that rustle? <laughs> what the hell? Ascending the staircase, Moxley's senses heightened as he discerned a chilling, disembodied voice inquiring about his presence and intentions. Hello? Hello? Shortly thereafter, just as he was on the brink of entering a room, Moxley's attention was seized by the unmistakable sound of disembodied footsteps resonating through the desolate corridors. <laughs> the light, rapid footsteps echoed as though someone swiftly dashed past him, sending shivers down Moxley's spine. Undeterred, he pressed on, only to find that the unsettling paranormal activity persisted with each step he took. If you're here, you want to speak, step forward and speak with me. And again, I'm not making this up. I'm hoping the camera's picking this up. It just sounds like a whisper. That male voice right behind me. I'm not too sure what it said, but it definitely said something then. Are you watching what I'm doing? As Moxley made his way out of one room, another disembodied voice emerged from the shadows. Furthermore, as he continued to navigate through the house, it appeared that his presence was catalyzing an increase in paranormal occurrences. Let me know if you just heard that. It's not like a doot, doot, that double tap, like doot, doot. That was you. Can you do it again? Ooh, and again. Go check. I cannot believe I'm not here again doing this. It's not too bad when you're in a group because so you've got somebody to watch your back all the time. When you're on your own, you're just so vulnerable, whether it be. Hello? Like a shuffle. From peculiar tapping sounds to the unsettling closure of doors, and the unsettling presence of disembodied voices, Moxley found himself unmistakably accompanied within the confines of the house. Undeterred by the eerie phenomena, he proceeded to initiate an EVP session, wherein a distinct message unexpectedly manifested. Have you got a message? Just want to keep them nice and short, just like that. Double in.
A bone-chilling, ghostly voice resonated through the recorder, commanding Moxley to leave. This unsettling utterance took him completely off guard, sending an icy chill down his spine. As the investigation neared its conclusion, it became increasingly evident that there was a force within the house intent on expelling Moxley from its midst. So I've just caught to what is known as the main bedroom. Here, it can be very, very active. I've got another device. If you want to step forward and speak, this one might be a bit easier for you. Is your name Bath? Evil. Hello? That's got to be somebody here. Another ghostly voice echoed from within the house, urgently urging Moxley to depart. This clear and direct message instilled a profound sense of fear within him, prompting him to take immediate action. Reacting with the prudence expected of a seasoned investigator, Moxley swiftly vacated the premises.